Well, most people have seen the movie A Bronx Tale. Yeah, you might have even seen the live show. It was written by Chaz Palminteri about his childhood growing up in the Bronx, and you can catch him this weekend yep. at the Palace Theater in Waterbury performing this amazing one-man show. We are so excited to be joined by the legend himself. Chaz, welcome to Great Day, Connecticut. Thanks for being with us. Oh, it's good to be here. Thank you very much. I have to ask a, a really stupid question. Were you once a bouncer alongside Dolph Lundgren? Yes, in 1982. That's correct. That, I was at a is... place called the Limelight in Manhattan. You were at the Limelight. Yes, I was. That yes, is I was. so cool. I was at the anyway, Limelight. Anyway, uh, I'm really excited to bring the show here. This is the show that won Best Show of the Year in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. That's right. And the show that I beat was Le Cirque. So think about that. Yeah, I was cool. by myself, and they came in second. But uh, it was a hit on Broadway. This is the original show that I did. 31 years ago that Robert De Niro saw. This is the, a show that made me famous, that broke me. It won all the awards, and that's how my career started. But Robert De Niro saw it. But before that, I was offered 250000 to walk away from it because they wanted to put a star in the role. Then they offered me five hundred, then $1 million. I had $200 in the bank, and I refused. Then one about two weeks after I turned down the million, Robert De Niro came in, saw it, said, hey, you should play Sonny. You should uh, uh, write it because it's your life. I'll direct it and I'll play your father. And he goes, I'm telling you, that's the greatest one-man show I ever saw. This could be a great movie. And that's how it happened. I, it's, it's just incredible. I, I, obviously, you made the right thing, betting on yourself. I mean, there's such a lesson in that. Right. But when we go to see this, uh, how does it work? I mean, you're a one man. You're playing all these different roles or what are we going to see? Yes, I play. Yes, I play 18 characters on stage. Oh my I God. do the movie on stage by myself. <laughs> OK, and that's how this is the only time ever that it's been a one man show to a major movie to a Broadway musical. So uh, for people who never saw it, that's actually seeing it probably backwards because they saw the musical and the movie come and see the one man show because people say that's the best of all. How, how do you have the stamina to do this night after night? I, I, you're just an incredible uh, performer. Well, well, thank you so much. I work out, I actually rehearse on the treadmill. When I do the show, I rehearse on the treadmill because I say to myself, if I could do it here, then I could I could do it. You know, it's a lot of work. And, it, you know, especially I did it 34 years ago. I was a lot younger then, but I still work out the same as I always did. You know, I do my five miles on the treadmill. I work out all the time. So I'm in great shape. Knock, knock on wood. So it's OK. Absolutely. I mean, it, and this is. Interesting, because this is how you grew up. This is a semi-autobiographical, -auto yes. what you saw, how you lived. But I, I read somewhere that you said this is really about the universal concept of choosing love over fear. That's correct. That's absolutely correct. That's why it's, it's almost, it was a hit 34 years ago. It's even a bigger hit now, because it's just relevant today. My father's the one who said to me, the saddest thing in life, is wasted talent. He said that to me because he saw it when we grew up in the street. He was always afraid that I would go that way. So he was always on top of me with my mom. And, uh, you know, I mean, my dad, I, it's, I was nine years old when I saw Sonny kill this guy five feet in front of me. Wow. And I, st I stared at him and he stared at me. And the next minute, my father dragged me upstairs and then the cops came and I refused to rat on him. I said I didn't see anything and I wouldn't I wouldn't pick Sonny out of the lineup, you know, and I just said, I don't know anything. And then finally, that's how my relationship started with the wise guys. It was really pretty unique and crazy, but I had a, had a great time growing up, but I really did. We're, we're so excited that you're kicking this off, at, too, at the Palace Theater. You're kicking off their season because they've been closed since COVID. This is such an exciting time for us. So thank you for coming to Connecticut. I appreciate that very much. I'm really looking forward to being there. And if you never saw it, I tell you, put it on your bucket list. You've got to come and see this. Yeah, and some tickets are still available. I mean, it's this weekend. We can go Friday or we can go Saturday. So definitely go yes. online and see what's available. But uh, I think there's a few tickets left. I know a lot of people are really excited to see you here in the new st here in our station. Everyone's like, oh, my gosh, a Bronx tale, Bronx tale. So uh, yes. It's well, I hope you, if you guys get a chance, please be my guest and come backstage and say hi. Oh, that would be That'd absolutely be awesome. That would be amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time. We so appreciate it. Thank you.
God bless. Thank you very much. Good luck with the show, all 18 of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no one ever said that to me. Thanks. <laughs> Jazz Palminteri's A Bronx Tale is at the Palace Theater in Waterbury. It's tomorrow and Saturday at 8 p.m. So check it out. Go get your tickets at palacetheaterct.com. It says .org on the graphic. Oh. I'm not sure if it's .com or .org. Oh, well, if it's a nonprofit, it's a .org. If it's a profit, it's a com. We'll figure that out.